Good morning, Rocketeers. Welcome to 2.5 SEL Day 5, Week 2. Day 5. Share out. Can you name and model a part of the brain we learned about this week? Can you name all three parts of their unique jobs? Take two minutes to jot down below the parts of the brain that you remember and what their unique jobs are. Objective. I can stop, breathe, and take a mindful moment when I notice my thoughts are running into the future or the past. Today, we're going to review the brain model. The first one is the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex helps us to make good choices and pay attention, help us to pay attention. The amygdala helps us to keep us safe and warns us about danger. The hippocampus has saves our memories and helps us bring back information when we need it. Now, I want you to be making these hand moments when you're going over these words, just so that they stick in our brain, in our brain. Good job, Rocketeers. Now we're gonna watch this video really quick. To bring it three parts, it's the PFC, the, the prefrontal cortex. Prefrontal cortex, you're right. Prefrontal cortex. Then there's the element. It's on here. The amygdala. At, the amygdala mm -hmm. and the hippocampus. Campus, hippocampus, yeah. Hippocampus. They're all like a superhero team. This one helps you make great decisions. This one, it makes you move fast. And this one stores all your memories. Bad memories, good memories, everything. You're amazing. And the brain is like a muscle. It is like a muscle. Can you grow your brain? Yes. What do you so need to do you to grow to do your brain? You have to do hard um, math questions, and it's and it's like your brain has like um has like arms and legs, like it's working out. That's right. And that's all you need to know. Now, Rocketeers, I want you guys. I have a challenge for you. Who is up for this challenge? I want to see a video down below of you guys naming all the parts of the brain that we went over during SEL and telling me what each part does. Let's see who can remember. Comment down below. Review, hurricane brain. We may know what our brain looks like. Now we will think about what our brain can feel like. Sometimes our brain can feel shaken up like a jar full of items. When we put the jar down and let it settle, the jar becomes calm. This is similar to how we can, we can settle our brain and bodies down when they become shaken up. Remember, this week was a brand new week. I want you to think of mindful or unmindful in our community. Can you think of some examples that you would put in the chart, mindful or unmindful moments you've experienced at school this week at home remember at home what are some things you did that were mindful and unmindful this week this week's big question what problem does the boy face in the story have you ever faced the same problem why does the author say our brain is like a puppy what examples does he give if your mind starts running into the into the future and starts digging up memories from the past, what can you train your brain to do? What can you do? I want you to take this time, stop, pause the video, and I want you to write down what you can do, what you do, and write it down or comment down below. 